my lovelies, and it's great that you're here for the new video. Today, I don't know why we haven't done it yet, we're going to test Kabobland undercover. Firstly, lots of people have written to me saying that the quality has gone down and of course it's been number one in my rankings for ages and everyone is talking about it as the best Adana in Germany. I have to say, this is my second time here. You'll find out in a video why I'm coming here for the second time. I also have to say that some of the videos come months after I recorded them. The other part is also a long time ago now, because on top of that, my cameraman just told me, there was supposed to be something really strange going on at Kabobland. At least I was able to watch a video from Mert where he said there was some kind of misunderstanding or something. I haven't managed to subscribe yet. I'll form my own opinion until this video is online, but maybe you can already express your opinion in the video. We're going straight into the first undercover test now. My lovelies, it's great that you're here from Cologne. Me and my undercover agent. Kapobland in Cologne is considered the best Adana in Germany. I've eaten it too and I'm absolutely blown away by it, and no one has ever tested it undercover. We're doing that now. I've also received a lot of messages from you. Paul, you have to test it like that. Quality has gone down, a lot more recently, and that's what we're doing. I'm here for you and now we're testing at the K we're just driving past. I'll show you from the outside, because I can't go there myself with a camera. It's all hell breaking loose again. So, we have to sneak up here a bit, because we've got no parking space. Yes, we'll find something now. It's about to start here. We're getting ready for battle now. Ouch, ouch, I'm putting on my shoes and then it's starting here. So the following plan. The normal Adana will be tested anyway, that's clear. But we'll also test a sandwich beforehand. We're going to get the thing out now and then we'll get started. While you've seen a couple of undercover recordings from my cell phone, I think I've been standing on my feet and my stomach has been standing for an hour. I can't tell exactly because I don't have a watch with me, but I can see that it's about to get dark and that would be a real crash. So, I hope we can still get it done in time. Video abruptly interrupted. So, that's the point where I said at the beginning that we need to do a second test. It's just that I ate it. I'll show the result in a fast forward, but I'll also do the evaluation and so on again but I wasn't 100% sure. We really got everyone to the car quickly and put our foot on the gas and didn't waste any time. But somehow, I'll just tell you how it is. I was plagued by a remorseful conscience that something had gone wrong. So, that's why I drove to Cologne again to test it again. No more rambling, we'll get it out straight away. I've got my undercover agents back on the go and this time we're going to test it on the spot, or somewhere on the street, right next to the car or something, so that no time is wasted. We're about to have an Adana, as I said, as mentioned before, normally on the plate, you'll see it in a minute, there's my colleague, he's really getting into the bread and I'm powering the thing. As I always say, they dare to go to the maximum. Not so, as the understanding is that they're not exactly at the maximum, so that it's cool but still tastes good. Typical old school garlic sauce. Here, for example, there's a bit of mint in it. Goes really well with the thing. And before we get to the point, you didn't even check it, we have it. This is the most legendary bread. There's also this glaze on it from this sauce. Someone once wrote in the comments, how can you think that's great? After that I realized how stupid that actually sounds and how illogical that it's supposed to taste great. But it really tastes like you put petrol on the grill. A little of this petrol has gone onto the bread. I mean, an accelerant, and this bread has a certain undertone. Heavy tingling of salt, sauce absorbed, a certain smokiness, although I find this petrol note a little too great right now. I've never had that before, but we're going into the nad. And now the thing that we're all blowing on, the Adana. I've been here in Cologne so many times, even before YouTube. The only thing I wanted to eat was this Adana. What is it about the special that many people ask? There's a red glaze sauce on top, it's called petrol, and that's what makes the difference. The strong smoky note in the Adana is, I think, processed paprika. This special red sauce, so far, it doesn't taste quite right. But you know what's going on in my head right now. I'm looking for that unique moment. I'm looking for that moment that I know from before. I can't quite find it. You'll get the rating now. I just had to go through my mince game rankings again, then I'll have a good idea. Always look at the rankings on Instagram in the highlights. Honestly, I would have rated the sandwich an 8. 
Very basic. Real talk, if I had driven here again for this. No, I would have given Adana an 82. It was fresh, but if I had driven here again for this thing as I got it today, I would have said no. It didn't impress me enough for that. As I said, we are right around the corner. We are right in front of the entrance and go straight in. Very crispy to begin with, really crispy. It wasn't last time either. I don't think the crispy bread is bad at all. Ada fights her way through. Customizability 1 to 10 5 approximately. Also a very important factor with Adana, this charcoal fire. It just has to be in there. Ah, look it up. I don't know, guys, you don't say much at all, but somehow it doesn't appeal to me 100%. I'm kind of on the fence with my rating. If I give it an 8, I don't give it an 8 anymore. It's kind of great. I don't know, the smoke too, I really want to eat it, but it's just what you're noticing. There's a lot of ziki, it's cool. I need the taste in it. Crunchy lettuce, a bit of onion, but somehow not well balanced, too much ziki. What's too much is just a magical limit for me. I give it a 79. I'm giving it a 79. Off to Adana. Much better than the first time. And you can see that we have these little vegetables. No, probably. Bell peppers. You bite into them, they're a bit crunchy. It reminds me of when I worked at Adeka. They put something like that in the meatballs too. But it's a dry spice mix. I'd like to show you the Kassen places again here. So a good Adana, but a bit ordinary. It has that ordinary touch, which I never had at Kebabland before, and I used to eat here a lot back then, and I somehow miss that special feature. I don't know if there's less of the sauce on it or something, but now to the review. So the review is from the car first. No matter what I'm about to say, it's still a brutal thing, right? I have to put forward a counterpoint to my test three years ago and maybe also to the one where I did what you just saw in the video a while ago, you know what I mean. It's also so amazing how differently food can perform, isn't it? But this Adana, purely in terms of presentation and in comparison to the undercover test that you've just seen in the video, the first one, was presented much better, it looked better, the consistency was also different and better and it was simply, in that respect, a well-rounded thing that was presented to me on the plate. So the mouthfeel was much better than last time, but the taste was still more intense, more special, more like what you'd expect when someone says, Here's the best place in Germany, it was more like that. Today, as I said, the presentation and so on was better, but the taste was more ordinary. That shows how different food can often perform, even if the conditions are much worse, but the performance was completely different, much more ordinary. There was probably too little red sauce on it too. Yes, that all leads to the point where I have to say, brutal stuff. We're talking at a high level here, but I can't give it more than 8 points today, and I can't remember what I gave it last time. I can't tell you that anymore. I kiss your hearts, a lot of chatter. I hope you liked the video. I hope you'll give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave me a comment too, telling me what you think about the whole thing. And then until next time I say have a wonderful day.